it is unwise after eating a fruit to throw away good seed when it is in your divine and godly purpose to be fruitful and multiply according to the will of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. I remember when uh, I was feeling real down, like really real down. And um, she just came over to me, like how she usually do. And she just went right behind me and just uh, hugged me. And because she was short, <laughs> you know, um, her arms was around my belly. And uh, I just turned around and, uh, you know, as she loosened up her arms and, and I hugged her, kissed her on her forehead and made it known to her, you know, thank you. And it's those moments, you know, that may not seem like it's much, but that can mean the most. And just at that moment, just letting her know, like, yo, I appreciate that. Even just sending her a text, like, yo, I appreciate you. You know? It can be the very thing that can make up her day. She can have a hard day, a hard time. You know? You may not even know the whole situation, but you know, for the most part, because y'all are as one, you can feel the effects, especially by being in tune spiritually, you know? And hey man, prayer works. And you know what's so beautiful where y'all coming together and y'all pray and you watch it manifest. So it kind of makes you think where her mind was at right along with yours. And the beautiful part about that is just knowing that the Lord honors marriages. But it's not any type of marriage. It's a marriage that's built off of faithfulness, a willingness to dedicate yourselves into something that's going to bring forth what is heavenly down here on the earth. It may not look like nothing because of where you may be at. It may not look like nothing because of your shortcomings and your comparisons with what you do see on TV or where you or what you hear from others. You know. But for the most part you, you, or should I say y'all, have something that they don't got. And that's greatness. And we know primarily greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So it's the greatness and the inspiration of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah that's paving the way for us to stay strong. So those little moments, appreciate them because it's a reminder on how you enter into the presence of the Lord as far as yourself entering in with thanksgiving. Same way that wife is when she comes towards you at peace. Your motivation is to make sure you appreciate her. And likewise unto her, which motivates you to be like-minded when you enter into the presence of the Lord. Yeah. Now that's beautiful right there. Very beautiful. And as the word is playing, you know, off of my phone, you know, I had it um, on repeat. And I believe during that time, it was uh, Proverbs chapter 8. 
Because normally, you know, when I go through something, I like to see things from the lenses of mama. Wisdom. And um, when it got around to that third time of playing, because it was on repeat, I get a call. And I don't know if she felt me or whatever else it was at that moment. And that's when she called. She also was going through something. Now don't get me wrong. I, she could have talked to me about what she had going on first. But she put that to the side. And when she spoke, she said, Shalom. And she and I shallow warmed her back. And she said to me, you know, how are you uh, feeling? First, I was like, I'm, I'm good. But I knew, and it was like a part of me that felt in a way she knew. And just in the amount of time that me and her, you know, um, have for one another, it made me to look at her and to acknowledge her on a level as in how beautiful she really is. It made me to uh, view her from an aspect out of gratitude and appreciating her. When I uh, spoke to her for what I was going through, she didn't give me what I wanted. She gave me what I needed. It wasn't until that moment and me realizing sometimes what you will want is not what's best for you in your development. It's what you need that's gonna help you to properly develop. And her love that she shared at that moment that she pushed aside what she had going on to tend to me. I acknowledge that she listened to me. And I was speaking for a good eight to 10 minutes, possibly even longer, because sometimes I could be long winded. But she allowed me to just pour out everything. And it felt so good. And it reminded me of the moments of you trying to figure out something and then a scripture just pops up in your head and it fits for the situation. It was like those moments. And in that moment, I see how You'd be amazed on how Yahweh Bashim Yahushah can heal you at a moment when you least expect it. See, gratitude is the attitude and appreciation. You had it figured out And it was all working for my good yeah. If only I knew back then